Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne from the Sussex Handmade Soap Company and today we are creating a rainbow design drop swirl soap. We thought it'd be quite nice to do a rainbow design because obviously it is actually Pride Month this month so we thought we could incorporate that into our soap. We will be using seven different mica colours so although the actual drop swirl itself shouldn't be too tricky to create, using seven colours does mean we're going to have to work fairly quickly just to make sure that none of them thicken too much and end up ruining our design. So that is today's plan, let's jump straight in and create some rainbow soap. So our solid oils have been melted now and combined with our liquid oils and as always our recipe is in the description if you want to have a look at what we have used for our recipe. I'm now going to add in our lye water and we're going to bring it to emulsion. We want it to stay at emulsion today, we do not want any kind of medium or thick trace because we want our mica colours to be mixed in and we want them to stay nice and fluid. So lye water going in now. Okay. So carefully pouring in over the spatula and then as soon as this is done the stick blender will be brought in to bring it to emulsion. And yes, I have broken another stick blender so we will be replacing that very, very soon. Argus didn't have them in stock but uh, we will be going and getting another one to replace this one. Now we are at emulsion, I'm just going to split the batter down into these two jugs. I'm going to do it by eye, roughly half and half, it doesn't matter if one is slightly fuller than the other. So we're just going for a very rough half and half estimate here. So this is going to form the base layer of our soap and it's going to remain white so we can get rid of that one for now. This one is going to be our rainbow colours, so I need to split this down further into seven portions. They are going to be in these little plastic cups here. And again, I'm going to try and split them as evenly as possible. So, relatively evenly split down into seven cups. Now we are going to add in our mica colours. We are going, as I say, rainbow scheme. This is our red. This probably won't turn out red, red, rainbow, red. It'll be more of a pinky red. It's really hard to actually get a nice, bright, true red in mica. I'm adding roughly half a teaspoon of each colour. And to be honest, half a teaspoon is quite a lot to be adding, but I do want our colours to be really vibrant today. And obviously, if this was a soap I was going to sell, then I would be measuring everything properly by weight. But as it is just a fun soap, I am just going to kind of eyeball it all. So here is our rainbow colour scheme in mica. Now I'm just going to take these little wooden sticks and I'm just going to use them to kind of mix the mica in a little. We will bring in the stick blender and actually thicken them very slightly but I want to give them a head start just by mixing in with the sticks so that we don't end up with a trace that is too thick. Now moving back to our uncoloured portion, I'm just going to thicken it very slightly with the stick blender, bringing it to a light trace and then pouring it into our mould.
Now I'm just going to thicken the rainbow colours very slightly using the stick blender. I'll start light and work up to the darker one. And now all we're going to do is just carefully pour the batter out in a kind of line, <laughs> like so. Move on to our indigo and go over the top. Obviously we are working from the bottom of the rainbow up today. We don't start with the red because otherwise when the soap turns out it will be back to front. On to the blue. So, over the top, and just down through those lower layers. Green going in now. Yellow. And the orange. And lastly, the red to finish it all off. And then I'm just going to tap it down so that the top becomes a level. And then all I'm going to do to finish the top off is just take a chopstick and I'm kind of just going to gently, lightly swirl the top. I'm not going deep with the chopstick, just literally touching the top to kind of give it a nice rainbow swirl finish to the top of the soap. And that is our rainbow pride themed drop swirl soaps. <laughs> drop swirled soap. <laughs> We're now going to put it to one side for 24 hours then we will come back tomorrow, turn it out and see how it looks. So we are now going to chop up our rainbow soap and see how it is looking on the inside. I've had a look at each end and it doesn't seem to have dropped uh, very well, but of course it may be completely different on the inside and there's only one way to find out. So let's pull them out and have a little look, see how they are looking. So here is Rainbow Drop Swirl Soap. So I have to say, I am loving how these soaps are looking on the inside. My concerns about the drop swirl not quite working and going deep enough have been completely unfounded because I think we have got a really pretty little drop swirl there. Um, if I turn it around, you can see fairly similar on the back, but I think we should pull out another bar and just see if it looks any different. So here is soap number two, a slightly different design. The colours are coming slightly lower down here. And yeah, I am so happy with how these have turned out. I think they look really bright, they look really vibrant, and they do kind of give that kind of rainbow pride feeling that we wanted them to. So very, very happy with how today's design has turned out. So lots of little rainbow drop soil soaps today and just in case any of you are wondering and you noticed that when we were making these we did have excess batter left over in the pots, that did not go to waste. We mixed it all together and poured a couple of extra soaps in some cavity moulds and they kind of all morphed together so no wastage. 
Thank you for watching today. We hope you have enjoyed our video. If you have, then hit that like button. And if you are not already subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button too. If you want to check out our website, you can do so here. And if you wish to make a purchase, you can use our discount code to get 20% off. We shall see you on Tuesday with another behind the scenes video. We are going to do a day in the life um, video on Tuesday. So you will just be following us around for the day, seeing what we get up to. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.